Hey Libra, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do a little weekly reading for you. Um, we're going to take a look at what is unresolved for you. All right, so we'll see what comes up here and we'll go from there. All right, so I'm going to use these astrology cards. Um, I'm really liking these lately. I feel like they give a depth to the reading. So, yeah, so let's see. Let's see what we get for Libra. All right, so here's the situation that is unresolved for you. How it is affecting you. How is it affecting someone else around you? And the guidance. All right. So let's see. What could possibly be unresolved for you? Ooh. All right. So we've got Capricorn energy here. The boss. All right. So this could be a lot of things, right? This could be that you are the boss that you're dealing with a particular boss um, or somebody that you are around or with or connected to, you know, is very bossy with you, very demanding of you. Um, let's see. Let's see. What do we have here? All right. So then we have the seven of cups. All right. So this could be about your aspirations to, to be a leader, your dreams about being a leader. Um, it could be about illusions that you might have about your boss. Okay. They could be, this could, we could be talking about a romantic situation or we could be talking about a work situation here. Um, you might have a crush on your boss. Uh, or you, you know, whatever it is, I feel like there's something unresolved maybe around a boss that you might have had a traumatic experience, you have romantic feelings for, or you just, you just haven't had a good experience with a particular boss, or you struggle with bosses in general. All right, so how is this affecting you? Ten of Swords. All right, so you might feel like a particular boss betrayed you or there's been betrayal in some way. Maybe a job came to an end or a relationship. Maybe a work relationship might have come to an end. This is pretty specific. Um... This is something that I feel like you might carry some leftover feelings for, some resentment around. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. How is it affecting the other person if there's another person involved here? All right. So we have the Page of Wands in the reverse. So so pages are messengers, okay? It feels like if there was flirtation, I feel like that ended. If there was a job here with a difficult boss, I feel like it ended. Um, this person might have fired you. This person might have um, broken your heart. This is, this is unresolved. I don't feel like Whatever person comes to mind for you, I don't feel like this is somebody that you're talking to right now. All right. So what is the guidance here? Nine of wands. Okay. So you, you've been hurt. You've been through, you've been through a battle with somebody. Okay. And, you know, spirit here is saying, you know, it might be a good idea to be a little bit cautious when it comes to this person. I don't feel like it's about having to be cautious with every boss you encounter, but this might have affected you in that way. This might have affected you in how you view authority figures in your life. Okay? That can be a very that can be a very dangerous place to be, you know, if you think that authority figures in some way are out to get you. 
All right, so let's take a look here. I want some clarification on the Capricorn on the boss. You could just be dealing with a Capricorn that you felt very betrayed by. All right, so let's see. Let's look at Capricorn. And let's look at the Seven of Cups here. All right, so Three of Wands. Hmm. This can be about expectations, or you might be waiting on a particular person, a particular Capricorn, or a particular boss to do something here when it comes to you. Seven of Cups. Yeah, Six of Wands. For a lot of you, you're waiting for, you're either waiting to get some to get back at somebody who might be your boss or you're waiting for victory in love with a particular boss, superior, authority, person of some kind. Um, this down here makes me feel like both of you have experienced an ending with each other in some way, but this is not completely resolved. Not completely resolved. Let's see why Spirit is saying be cautious. Hmm. All right, we have the Emperor. Okay, so whoever this person was, definitely I, I feel like they were in the lower vibration of the Emperor. This might have been, um, this person probably was a masculine, had a masculine energy if, if they weren't a man. This person definitely had some control issues okay they definitely liked being the boss in whatever situation you were in this person liked being in control so let's get one more here emperor chariot okay so card of cancer we have cancer and aries um you know Cancer, water energy, very emotional. Um, cancer energy tends to follow their heart. So whoever this person was, you know, I feel like they came across maybe controlling in a manipulative, emotional way. You might have felt manipulated emotionally. And I feel like spirit is saying, be cautious of this particular person. Okay, you know, this particular person might be might be fantastic around other people, but there might be something about the two of you together that triggers this person for some reason. Um, I feel like this person, you know, you're up here waiting in some way for somebody that's either bossy in your life, for a boss to make a decision, or for a romantic, maybe a reconciliation with somebody that is your boss, used to be your boss, whatever the case may be. All right, so <clears throat> I feel like this person is going to try again. But this is pretty serious energy. All right, so we'll see what's going on with the Ten of Swords and this Page of Wands. You know, I almost feel like this could be about what this person isn't saying versus what they are saying. So what do we have here? Ten of Swords devil. Here's that Capricorn card again. You, I mean, for some of you, this is very clear. You were betrayed by a Capricorn. And yet, in this particular case, at the same time, you're waiting for a Capricorn or a boss or a superior in some way to do something. What is it that you're waiting for? Oh boy, we got the star. Okay, so this is somebody that didn't really treat didn't really treat you the way you felt you should be treated. And yet you might still be seeing this person as the one. Okay, I can't make sense of that really. Um, I know it's out there. I know people go through that. Um Spirit is saying, be cautious, because this person might be a little bit emotionally manipulative, and they carry 
If they're not a Capricorn, they carry a devil energy here. This could be a soulmate. This could be uh, somebody that you know you feel tied to, bonded to. Maybe you, you're, you might be attracted to this person's shadow side. The two of you, I don't feel like bring out the best each other, but the worst in each other in some way. So this person here, what do we have? Look at this, death. All right, so <laughs> let's clarify that death card. Card of Scorpio and Page of Cups. All right, so for some of you, you might be dealing with a, a Scorpio, Cancer, Aries, Aquarius, or Capricorn. Um, yeah, you know, this is, I, I, whoops, I do feel like this person is going to come back with some type of an emotional offer that might have worked in the past. This might have, this might be an apology. I do feel like you see the lesson here. You see what is happening. You question yourself maybe a little bit as to why you might still be looking at this person as the star, okay? Um, this person, whoever this is, I, I, I feel like is absolutely going to try again, try to get into your emotions again. Yeah. All right, so let's see. We're gonna we're gonna use this deck here. We're gonna see. Wait a minute. All right, we have we have wands and we have earth energy. You know, I almost feel like we're gonna use air energy because of the star. Let's use air energy. and earth energy just for the situation. All right, so what do we have here? Home life, okay. So in some way, especially if this is career related, it feels like it's affecting your home life in some way if this isn't a situation at work, then this is somebody that, you know, you might be dealing with at home. Situation. Look at this idealistic star. You know, an, an idealistic home life. You have fantasies about, you know, your heart's desire and you creating some type of idealistic home life. If this is somebody that you saw yourself pairing with or a boss that you saw yourself pairing with, I felt feel like you had your heart's desire on a very, that's how you would fantasize about this, about how the two of you might cohabitate or be alone together, um, something like that. So let's see, what are you manifesting in this situation? And what is the guidance here? Woo, heated argument. I definitely can see that down here, okay? This is somebody that absolutely triggers you and you might trigger this person. Um, the other side of this card, which I can see here with the page of cups, a long time in coming apology or gesture. So I almost feel like that's what we're looking at here. That's what's coming from whoever this person is that triggers you and you trigger this person, but there's some type of, there's some type of bond there that I feel like comes from the shadow side, the, the, your shadow sides are connecting. And then what do we have here for guidance? 
Look at this. Forgiveness will dramatically improve this conversation. So there is, I feel like, a gesture or an apology coming, a conversation coming. And the guidance here is to forgive, but also to be cautious, right? To be cautious about what you might have got into in the past and how that might have manifested. It might have manifested in a heated argument in the past. So that's something to be mindful of. But forgiveness here, somebody here needs forgiveness. And I don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's this, this person here. Okay. All right. Interesting. Libra, that is what I have for you. If you're looking for a deeper, more personal reading, certainly reach out. If not, no worries. Have a great week. I'll talk to you next time. All right. Bye.